sometimes people say to me, Mark, why do you hate America? But I don't hate America. I just don't love apple pie. And I don't love apple pie because there are so many good alternatives. Today we're going to do one of them, apple pizza. It's not actually apple pizza because the dough is not a pizza dough. The dough is a very short pie crust. By short, I mean high in butter. And this one actually has an egg in it also. It's very easy to work, very rich, really delicious. You can make it in a food processor or by hand. And the recipe is on NewYorkTimes.com. But after you make the dough, you have it in a ball. You keep it in the refrigerator for hours, days if you want to. And the colder it is, the easier it's going to be to work. And here it is. A little bit sticky, but quite firm. And you want to work quickly before the butter in it starts to melt. If you're afraid of rolling out dough or have no experience doing it, I don't have much myself, you can pat this dough out. You don't actually have to roll it. But as you can see, it's pretty easy to roll. Don't worry about making it a perfect circle. This is a very rustic, beautiful crust. Done. Cross your fingers and move it onto a baking sheet lined with parchment. You get this out of the way. And then apple slices, arranged beautifully if you want to, or carelessly if that's your style. Guess which style mine is. Try to cover most of the dough. Leave a little bit of the edge. The apple slices are a little bit brown, even though I added lemon juice to keep them from browning because it's been a while. Okay, and then dot with butter. This is really about the simplest thing there is. A couple tablespoons of brown sugar. You don't need a lot because the dough is rich and sweet. And this isn't, this isn't a killer, super sweet pie. This is a, you know, this is a very fruity, crunchy, lighter dessert better than apple pie in every way. Forgive me, America. Okay, into the oven, 400 degrees, depending on it, whether you have a legitimate 400 degrees. If you do, it's probably 20 to 30 minutes. If your oven is off a bit, it may take a little longer, even a little less time. But start looking after 15, 20 minutes. So as predicted, 30 minutes or so later, I wanna show you something. This beautiful tart was assembled and baked by a professional food stylist. This hideous monstrosity was assembled and baked by me. I can guarantee you that it tastes just as good. Uh, it is a pizza, so we're using a pizza cutter, but you could use a knife. I could cut it in a triangle since it is a pizza. I'm gonna put a little ice cream on it. This is the, um, the infamous 14 ounce pint, which um, seems to have taken over these days. A pint, as you may know, is 16 ounces, but not anymore as far as the ice cream manufacturers are concerned. America, this is for you. I love you. <laughs>